what I showed you on my last video, I was trying to figure out how to throw all these four switches at the same time on this uh, double crossover. I'm using a Octopus 3 uh, servo activation unit, so I contacted Tan Valley Depot to see if I can hook up all throw all these switches at the same time, and they told me to hook up one output to all four servos, but they didn't recommend that. Uh, but I used it anyway, and it worked pretty good. So another change I had to do on this uh, uh, crossover was to install one of the servos, actually two of them, but this one is right here. You can see I installed this bent connecting rod and installed the servo backwards. And the one that is here, it's also the opposite of this one here. So. Uh, okay, so also these are the feeders go to the tracks. I use uh, feeders for all my tracks. They get soldered to the main boss underneath. So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to put this down for a second. So temporarily, I'll hook them up. Alright, so as I told you, I'm using Cam Valley Depot Octopus 3 here, and I'm using two relay packs that it changes the polarity of the um, frogs. So what I've done, I'm using only one output for all four servos, and uh, I've used a Y adapter, I've soldered them together. So these go to four servos. Here the wires are hanging loose because if I tie them together, they're going to cross talk, so they don't recommend tying them together. It looks a little bit messy. So here there is the push button so I can activate the switches and the remote control. So I'm going to push the button here. There we go. And also these two here. Okay, so I'm gonna run. I'm running this kind of lower end locomotives. If these guys run here good, all my other high end locomotives are gonna run good. That all right, now I'm going to throw the switches here. Okay. So now we go. That. Okay, so now I'm going to use this guy here. So what I've done, I've chosen one axle, two axle, and three axle locomotives to make sure all work pretty good. So that's that. And I'm using this guy here. Don't laugh. Uh, this has only one axle, so I'm going to use that to make sure that it, everything runs good.
Well, it was tricky to wire. Actually, this is a Shinara uh, crossover, so I had to do a lot of modification on it in order to get it to work with DCC. So that, that, and also I've chosen this one here that has two smaller axles. As you can see, they run pretty smooth, so... And for the last, I'm using this uh, ballast thingy, I'm not sure what they call it, but uh, I'm going to run that. Alright, so this one is pretty cool. I've installed beacon lights, headlights. And it has marker lights. That's pretty nice. So, anyway, that was it. And uh, next, I'm gonna make a video of how to install this turntable and the transfer table. Alright, thanks.